It's game one between the Indiana Pacers and the Boston Celtics, and game ones can be very difficult to try and project what exactly is going to happen. But I'm gonna do my best using some of the odds that we have, thanks to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, some of the projection models that we have at our disposal, and we'll try to put together a good picture of what might happen in tonight's game one. My name is CJ Curry. If you're new to the channel, get subscribed. It's free for you to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for me now. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button for me as well. I'm gonna set today's like goal at 100 or more likes. So the line's 99.5. I'm depending on you to help me get over 99.5 likes on today's video. I appreciate all the love and support from everybody who's already subscribed and for those who continue to show up and hit that like button for me. All right, moving on over. We're looking at prize picks today. If you guys are not playing on prize picks yet, it's a great time for you to get started. Prize picks making daily fantasy sports easy for you, allowing you to pick your favorite stars from your favorite sports. You decide whether to go for more or less on their projection. And then from there, you can win all the way up to 25 times your money. Use promo code CJCURRY. Get yourself a 100% instant deposit match on your first deposit all the way up to 100 bucks. Let's talk about today's pick. Starting with TJ McConnell of the Indiana Pacers taking on the Boston Celtics. Now, McConnell's been pretty good, uh, especially in that prior series against the New York Knicks. He's really stepped his game up, and hopefully tonight... He's going to be dishing some dimes because I'm looking at his four and a half assists today and I'm thinking, man, is that line high enough? Or maybe it could be a little bit higher. So let's go take a look at some information here on TJ McConnell. First and foremost, we want to know, is this a positive expected value play, a plus EV play? In other words, when we go out and we look at these sports books, are the odds in our favor or are they going against us? And in this case, they are in our favor. In other words, we're thinking about taking the over. The odds on the sports books are also suggesting we take the over here because at four and a half assists, you're seeing them as a betting favorite to go over on big books like Pinnacle, very sharp sports book, probably the sharpest sports book that's out there. Minus 133 betting favor to go over. FanDuel's got them going over. DraftKings. BetMGM, Caesars, and every other sports book that you'll go and look at, you'll see TJ McConnell is a betting favorite to go over four and a half assists, giving him about a 53.3% chance of clearing. Now, that still means there's about a 46, 47% chance that he stays under four and a half assists. Nothing's a lock, nothing's a guarantee, but we do have a slight edge here, about a 3.35% edge. And over time, the idea, the principles are, these small edges will add up, and in the long term, we will be a more profitable better by taking favorable bets. And so that's the information that I have here on TJ McConnell. Let's go over to Outlier. Outlier, fantastic apps. Got all your player prop research needs. Now, how I use Outlier is real simple. Basically, I try to recreate today's game script, today's game scenario using Outlier. So I'm looking at games played by McConnell with guys like Tyrese Halliburton, Aaron Neesmith, Andrew Nemhart, Miles Turner, Pascal Siakam, Obi Toppin active, right? Everybody who's expected to play tonight, I wanna see the games in which all those guys were playing alongside of TJ McConnell. Then I also try to look at games where guys aren't in, like uh, Benedict Matherin who's been out now for a while for the Indiana Pacers. So I'm looking at games where all those players are in and Benedict Matherin's been out. I'm also looking at games where TJ McConnell's received at least 19 or more minutes. He's projected for about 20 or more minutes tonight. I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative and set his minutes line just a little bit lower than that at 19. And here's kind of what you're left with here. 17 games in which all that criteria is met. And in those 17 games, he's gone over four and a half assists in 11 out of 17 games. So that's a 65% hit rate, which is not too shabby. 60% or better is usually a uh, good marker or indicator for me in terms of whether or not I should play a player prop. So these are uh, pretty good hit rates, right? He's averaging about 5.94 assists per game in those 17 games, so close to six assists, let's call it. And then you can add more filters on top of what we've already done here. So you can look at games where he's just played on the road. In road games in which he's played alongside his 
expected active and inactive teammates and where he's received at least 19 or more minutes, you can see his hit rate goes all the way up to 88%. So he's done an even better job on the road this season given the various scenarios. Seven out of eight times he has gone over 4.5 assists. Now, you can go a step further here. You can add a uh, margin of victory. So games in which the Indiana Pacers have lost by, let's say, nine or more. So blowout games. So now we're looking at away games with said active and inactive players and games in which Indiana's lost by nine or more because that's the spread tonight. They expect the Celtics to beat the Pacers by quite a bit. Now you're three for three. Small sample, but still three for three. He's averaging over eight assists per game in those three games. So kind of cool what you could do with Outlier. If you want to take Outlier for a test spin, seven-day free trial waits for you down in the description of today's video. Last but not least, let's check out some projection models and see how those are looking for TJ McConnell. There's a couple that I like to use. Uh, the first one here is Rotowire. Rotowire gives you a, a two day all access free pass, and you can take Rotowire for a spin for yourself. Again, link down in the description for everything, all the tools that I use in today's video. Uh, TJ McConnell projected for 4.6 assists. Again, the line is 4.5, so he's closer to five assists on his projection than he is four assists. So a decent projection, not super strong by any means, but also not real bad. So let's check a second projection model because each projection model is just a little bit different from one model to the next. So we're gonna go over here to Action Labs and punch in McConnell's name. And when we do that, you can see he's projected for about 4.7 assists. So again, closer to five than four, which is good news for us. We're hoping he gets at least five or better today. And uh, if he does, we'll cash out. So I'm leaning more on TJ McConnell. Let's talk about the second pick, Aaron Neesmith, former Boston Celtic taking on his uh, former team, the team that basically shipped him out of Boston to Indiana. Now he's found a nice little role and a nice home here with the Pacers. Today he's at nine and a half points. Maybe there's a little bit of a revenge narrative in the air here. Maybe Aaron Neesmith looks to uh, get back at the Boston Celtics by getting buckets tonight for the Indiana Pacers. He's at nine and a half points. We're going to go over here to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer once again. We plug in Aaron Neesmith's name, and you can see that this one's got about a 2%, two, uh, 2% we'll call it. Yeah, 51.98%, so about a 2% edge in our favor that he goes over nine and a half points. Again, you're seeing a very sharp sportsbook-like pinnacle they got him at minus 134 as a betting favorite to go over here. And then uh, you're getting true odds of minus 127, which isn't, again, super high, but it's game one, very unpredictable. Nobody knows what is going to happen. But nonetheless, yes, this is a plus EV play, a positive expected value play. Now, we're going back over here to Outlier. We're going to look at some game logs for Mr. Aaron Neesmith. Again, these are games where he's played alongside of all the expected active players for Indiana and uh, games without Benedict Matherin, of course, and uh, games where he's received at least 30 minutes of playtime or more. Now, I looked at a couple different projections for his minutes tonight. He's projected for about 31 minutes being the lowest. I've seen him as high as 34 minutes. We're going to set it at 30 again, just to be on the more conservative side here. And when you do that, you're left with a total of 17 games. And in those 17 games, he has gone over nine and a half points and 11 out of 17. So 65% hit rate is not too bad at all. Again, you can take things a step further here, apply some more filters if you want. Here are the games in which he has played with tonight's actives and inactives, where he's had at least 30 minutes, and he's played on the road. A 63% hit rate, averaging 11.2 points per game, which isn't too darn bad. Now, you could also take this a step further and add in games in which the Indiana Pacers have lost by nine or more now things get kind of ugly there so hopefully indiana keeps it kind of close uh one for three in games in which indiana's lost by nine or more so if it ends up being a blowout well that wouldn't serve very well for aaron eastmith going over his nine and a half points but again game one nobody knows exactly what's going to happen it's all a guessing game but at least we're using some data to help us guess. So let's go ahead and hit the reset all on these filters here. I wanna show you head-to-head -head matchups against the Boston Celtics this season. 
And he's done a pretty good, darn good job since leaving Indiana when he takes on his former, I'm sorry, since leaving Boston and taking on his former team in the Celtics. Last couple times he's faced the Celtics, he's dropped 26 and 17 points on him. So again, is there an ax to grind? Is there beef between Aaron Neesmith and the Boston Celtics? I don't know. Maybe it's something maybe it's nothing but let's go take a look at some projections here on Aaron Neesmith we're going to go back over here to Rotowire we're going to plug in Neesmith's name now you can see Rotowire is liking Neesmith to go over for a lot of different projection categories uh player prop categories his PRA is a very popular one the points and rebounds is projecting really well the points again is the most optimal way to go according to the odds pulled from various sports books so let's look at that one. The projection's 12.55 points. Again, the line is nine and a half. So we're talking about a difference of three points here, which is pretty significant, pretty huge when you're talking about player prop lines. So very strong projection there. We're gonna go check a second projection as we always do and see where he's projecting over on Action Labs. They've got him at 11.1 points, gang. So it sounds like 10 or more points is going to be well within reach for Aaron Neesmith tonight. Again, he's taking on his former team in Boston. So we're going to lean more on Aaron Neesmith. Now we got one more play here. It's a little bit of a wild card, Peyton Pritchard of the Boston Celtics. But before we talk about that, hey, if you're not a member of Dub Club yet, Dub Club, just 67 cents per day, 20 bucks a month, or you can opt in for a three month, six month, or 12 month package. You get access to even more picks, plays, and parlays stats and information helpful research is being shared daily in dub club in conjunction with our eyes on the prize discord so if you're interested in joining a community of friendly individuals or trying to help each other win more i got you covered use the link pinned down in the comment section below come on join the family we've always got room for more we'll start you off with a three-day free trial on dub club you can kind of get a taste a sample and then hopefully you stick around and rock with us all summer long. We'll be doing baseball, esports, WNBA, and more until NFL season comes around. So hopefully we'll see you there. Now let's get to this last pick. It's Peyton Pritchard of the Boston Celtics, 2.5 rebounds. Pretty low number for Peyton Pritchard. Again, if this game turns into a blowout, that's going to help somebody like Peyton Pritchard get more minutes. And when he gets more minutes, he's going to get more opportunities to collect things like rebounds for us. So minutes are the name of the game. So let's go take a look at the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. Now this one of all the picks is probably the one that is the least EV, but it is still slightly positive expected value. 50.89%, uh, so not quite a 51%, but right around a 51% chance of hitting. This is about as close to a coin flip as you can get. But we've got a little bit of historical data and projection data on our side that could help him get over that two and a half rebound marker. So if we go back over here and take a look at the games in which he has played this season, games with the likes of Brown, Holiday, Tatum, Horford, games without Porzingis, you're left with 10 games in total. And uh, these are games in which he's played about 22 or more minutes. I checked a couple different projection models. They expect him to play about 23 or more minutes. Again, taking a little bit more of a conservative approach. I bumped him down to 22 minutes. And when you look at these games, total of 10 that fit this criteria, he's gone over two and a half rebounds in seven out of 10 games. That's a 70% hit rate, which is fantastic. Now, again, you tinker with some of these other filters that Outlier provides us here, looking at just the home games, it goes up to an 80% hit rate. Four out of the last five games, which he's played with all of tonight's active players and inactive players for Boston, in which he's had at least 22 or more minutes of court time. Well, he's gone over in four out of five. So 4.2 rebounds per game in such situations. Now let's turn that home filter off and let's just look at games in which Boston has won by nine or more or 10 or more points. When they win by 10 or more points, He's gone over in six out of seven games. That's an 86% hit rate. Again, averaging four rebounds per game in those blowout type games. And then you could e even turn on the home filter with the blowout filter. And all of a sudden you're four for four, a 100% hit rate where he's averaging 4.75 rebounds per game in such situations. So things are looking pretty good here historically for Peyton Pritchard. What about the projection models? Let's go take a look here back to Roto-Wire we go. We're punching in Pritchard's name. You can see that 
As far as the options where Rotowire is leaning more, the rebounds is the number one option here. 3.57 projected rebounds on a line of 2.5. That's a whole rebound higher than where he's currently sitting today on prize picks at 2.5. So is the projection good? You betcha. You bet your money it is. And then the second projection here for Peyton Pritchard, back to Action Labs. We go a little bit more on the conservative lower side, 2.6 rebounds, but 2.6, again, closer to the three or more that we're hoping for than two or fewer. So hopefully Peyton Pritchard comes through for us. Hopefully it's a blowout situation. I think the more on the two and a half rebounds looks like a pretty solid option based on uh, what is kind of slim pickings in a game one where things are highly volatile and unpredictable. What do you think? You liking any of these, hating any of these? Leave your feedback down in the comments section below. I like to get your thoughts, your opinions, your comments, your questions. Let me know what you're thinking, guys. Good luck on all your picks, plays, and parlays. Dub Club Discord members, I'll be sending out some MLB picks, more NBA picks, and maybe I'll even get into some WNBA picks. That's right, we got a three-game WNBA slate to talk about too. So I'll see you guys there. Good luck. Peace.